Everybody was hyping up this wig, so I was like, I'm about to get it. So now I'm going in with my Express Level 9 Powder Lightener. This is by Blonde Brilliance. I'm also going in with their developer as well. And I love, love, love this stuff. And this is in number 35. Get you some gloves. Mine's a little big, but we need gloves, okay? I'm taking equal parts of the powder, one full cup of the powder, and one full cup of that liquid developer. And we're going to fill it right on up. And we're going to pour it right into the little bowl here. Okay, I got this bowl from Salia as well. I'll link all the product. Um, so, yeah, we're going to stir this together with a knife. Okay, and we're going to wait till it's like toothpaste consistency. A little bit thicker, tad bit. You know, if you can't shake it off the knife, perfect consistency. So now we're just gonna go in and starting from the back of the lace, I'll take the knife and we're just gonna spread that bleach all over that lace. Now one thing for sure, I wish this lace was HD. Baby, y'all could've gave us HD bang jazz. <laughs> I think that's the name, but anyway y'all. We're gonna start from the back and work our way to the front, just spreading it all through. I did coat the outside of the hair with got to be glue spray as well. Um, now as far as the time, I let mine sit for 40 minutes, but this time can uh, differ. I did get some on the hair. I'm just taking a wet paper towel and wiping it off. But the time can differ depending on your room temperature, the room you're working with, the environment you're working in, okay? And also the developer you use. So I let mine sit for 40 minutes and I checked it in intervals of 10. So like every 10 minutes I checked it. So now we're going in with our Brastisass Brunette Shampoo. And this is pretty much to tone the knots on the unit. Um, I could have left it on longer, I ain't gonna lie, because it was still a little orange, and y'all see that in a minute. We're going in with our Aussie Miracle Curls Conditioner, and I like to condition my hair on a mannequin head. I cannot stress it enough. I feel like curly hair needs moisture, okay? It needs moisture. So I go in heavy, okay, with that conditioner. I saturate the entire unit, and then I put some heat to it as well, and also let the conditioner just sit in the hair. After I make sure it's fully coated, I go in with my brush, just to make sure every strand is coated with that conditioner. Look, look at this, baby. Do y'all not see this? Baby, it looks so freaking good, okay? Y'all already know the backstory. I filled y'all in, but here we gonna install it. Let's get it, let's go. So this is what the lace looks like, okay? And look at that. Do y'all not see the lace? I was shook with myself. I'm like, dang, girl, you plugged that. Okay. So um, this is just the hair. I'm just showing you guys the length. Of course, the back is always going to be longer than the rest of the hair. So the front ain't 26 inches, but the middle and the back is. This is spread by Kisses Spray. Y'all know I love it. Okay. This is not my shade. Of, clearly not my shade, but I'm just delusional. Okay. But anyway, y'all, it's a little too warm and too dark, but I bought 
I bought two cans actually of this stuff and I just wanted to use it up. I don't want my money to be going to waste. So anyway, I'm just going into hot comb the hair before, you know, you see now that I'm trimming off the lace. I did put wax on my um, hair and then hot comb it. I'm cutting zigzags. I'm trying to cut sloppy as possible because you don't want the lace. Just a clean line. You don't want that. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of on the verge of where though I would say it was big head friendly because although it was a lot of lace, ear to ear it fit perfectly and my head circumference is a 21.3. So now I'm going in with my Eben Wonder Lace Spray. Y'all know I'm back on this stuff. I do use only one layer because it is cooler outside now so we don't need to double up. I'm just pushing this product back into my hairline using my finger and then I'm going to go in with my blow dryer and I'm just going to Put it on a cool heating setting and let it get tacky. Now this is what it look like when it's tacky. You see that? You see that gucky stuff? Mm-hmm. I wiped off my comb just so when I lay it down, uh, old product won't be sticking. But now we're just going to lay that down and press it down with our finger. We're going to align the wig and make sure we are uh, making sure the lace is flat. You don't want any waves or bumps and lumps. Going in with a little bit more heat to make sure it's down. Um, sometimes when I let the product dry, all of it is not going to stick. Like if it gets too, too dry, it's not going to stick. So this is why I go in and do this again. Going in just to use the back of my comb to press the lace down into the product. And as you guys can see, it is blending, okay? Lastly, I'm going in with my Even Wonder Lace Lace Melt, and we're just going to use this product just to blend in that line of demarcation just a little bit more. Like I said, you're not going to 100% get rid of it, but you're going to get rid of it enough. I'm just going to take my elastic band I got from Amazon and we're just going to lay it down. Now with these bands, you don't have to double band because they're so tight. So I'm going to leave that on for about five to ten minutes. All right, so some time has passed and we're going to take it off and that looks hecka good. Baby, what lace? Stop playing with it. So I'm just going to go in quickly and do some baby hairs. Like I said, I should have just left it as a natural side part. But y'all know, sometimes I just won't let the baby hairs go. <laughs> so I just took some got to be glue spray and sprayed it on my edge brush and we're going to swoop. Now those was too thick for my liking. So I ended up cutting and plucking to thin it out to my liking. Now I'm just going into the find my part, just using a little bit of cream foundation, okay? And I'll have everything linked below. I'm going in to make the part a little bit crispier, more straighter by using my Temptation Spray in the shade black. So now we're going in to detangle it before we get into our curly routine and the style for the day. I'm just using a wide tooth comb. Again, it glides through, okay? I'm surprised because like I said, it's been some months, but this is what it looks like when I comb it all out nice and full and soft now i'm just gonna go in and just recreate this style i seen on pinterest um so yeah we're just gonna put two braids on the side and we're just gonna add a little beads and that's gonna be it but um i actually purchased this wig two times y'all two freaking times and both times it was immaculate like when i got it the first time baby it was super soft it was buttery like my hands just glided through there like it had so much moisture i, I was just upset so i did purchase it again i did install it to wear it first and then i came back and installed it again installed it on camera so you guys can see um so yeah i just want to throw that in there because i don't think i talked in the beginning of the video but um yeah we're just gonna add these beads i purchased off amazon as well and we're just gonna put these on both i was deciding between the color black and brown but i was like y'all cannot see the black so i was like i'll just do brown so lastly we're just going in with a little bit of this mousse and we're just gonna 
rub this all throughout the hair. Sometimes when I want a more defined curl, I love to use this mousse in particular because it gives me that. Um, I also put gloves on because I do not like when my hands get that, like that pruny feel. I hate that. <laughs> so I'm always having gloves. I just don't like, you know, even when I'm doing my real hair, like if I'm detangling it with water and conditioner, I need gloves on my hands because I do not like that feeling. But yeah, we're just going to put that product all throughout the hair and I'm going to be back to give you guys my final thoughts and review on this hair. So this is the end of the video y'all Okay, overall I'm gonna give this week a 10 out Well, no, we're gonna give it a 9.5 for, for me to be a 10 out of 10, you gotta be top tier You gotta be top tier So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a 9.5 and, and I did bleach the knot So I did get some shedding with this unit During each and every step I showed you guys when I detangled it I got some shedding And then I also showed you guys um, what did I show you guys? When I did my curly hair routines, I don't know if I showed you guys of that, but it was shedding then. Now, would, it, would I say it was doing a substance of shedding? No, but it was doing some shedding. Be mindful, I went ahead and plucked my unit, so that could be a cause too, because I actually plucked it. If you don't pluck it, I, I can't say it, but for me plucking it, I got more shedding than, you know, usual. But it doesn't take away from the wig, in my personal opinion, because I always expect for uh, curly hair to shed more than any other texture of hair so that's just what it is i did enhance the curls by using some mousse so your curls will look different depending upon what you use if you use water it's going to be more fluffier if you use mousse it's going to be more you know less dense okay um the density is great i don't know what the density is but it's giving okay it's not thin it's not none of that stuff. As far as tangling, I haven't gotten any of that yet. Like after I went into the tangle it for the first time. When I found this unit, y'all, I was just browsing on Amazon. I seen people in the reviews. Everybody was hyping up this wig, so I was like, I'm about to get it. So when it comes down to reviews and stuff like that, I read it. But I also factor in the point that some people don't know how to do hair. And they want to be typing up, typing up a review. Come on, this hair was trash, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. You don't even know what's going on in the hair world. I just keep all that in mind when I'm reading reviews. When they said it was good, I was like, let me save myself. Baby, they want lying. <laughs> this wig is lit. Okay, this wig is it. And like I said, they don't know who I am. They have no idea. I don't purchase anything in my name. So, baby, how they gonna know? How they gonna know? Okay, this wig is not sponsored. They did not pay me. Even though if they did. If they did, my opinions would still be the same. So, so if you guys are interested, I'll be sure to link it below. I do have this thing where I have not been linking the wigs. And I don't know what be going on with me. I be, I be swearing that the wig is linked and it don't be linked. But this one's linked, okay? And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.